Africa has an abundance of renewable energy resources that, with the correct investment, could position it as a worldwide leader in the global green energy transition. As a growing continent both in number and in economic growth, the African continent is witnessing an accelerated rate of development. This is certain to cast doubts on the current energy production outputs, with the likes of fossil fuels striking global concerns for their devastating consequences on the environment. As global enlightenment in the energy sector broadens, the use of fossil fuel is gradually waning and being ditched in favor of the rapidly advancing renewable energy. Eventually, the renewable energy sector, which has often been categorized as a niche to the extensive energy industry, is expanding to become a highly sought-after power source for many regions and countries around the world. The African continent, like the rest of the world, is the latest player to jump on the renewable energy bandwagon. Enriched with a bounty of unlimited natural resources, the second-largest continent on the planet is finally approaching a self-awareness of its infinite wealth of natural treasury. Morocco, with its significant solar potential, the Democratic Republic of Congo, with its hydropower potential, and South Africa, with its modernized regulatory framework that both incentivizes and drives renewable energy uptake all represent growing green energy markets. Africa is seeing an increase in renewable energy ventures as the continent moves into a post-pandemic period and global investors shifting their attention to clean energy projects. Several large-scale projects have already come online or been launched in 2021, solidifying Africa's status as a renewable energy contender. Our video today will present the 10 most outstanding green energy projects which took off last year across Africa. As always, make sure to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. Share in the comments information about other exciting renewable energy project in your country which wasn't on our list. Mogala Quina Solar Power Station, South Africa Anglo-American Platinum has chosen the Peel Green Energy EDF Renewables South Africa partnership to develop a 100 MW solar photovoltaic facility at its Mogala Quina mine in South Africa Limpopo province. The partnership includes Peel Green Energy, which creates, possesses, builds, procures, and operates renewable energy power stations, whereas EDF Renewables South Africa, on the other hand, is equipped with global experience in renewable energy technologies, such as wind, solar photovoltaic, and battery storage. Anglo-American Platinum has agreed to a 10% free carry equity participation in the coalition that will construct, own, and operate the facility for the rest of its existence. This is intended to generate dividends that are directly traceable to the company's host communities over time. The photovoltaic facility is scheduled for construction commencement in the fourth quarter of this year, with expectations to be operational by the end of 2023. This initiative contributes to the renowned Anglo-American Platinum's ambition to become carbon neutral by 2040 throughout its activities. Shumba Energy Solar Project, Botswana Shumba Energy, a Botswana-based energy development firm, has obtained $950,000 in pledges from overseas investors to create an $80 million, 100 megawatts solar project as part of the company's aim to transition to renewable energy. The solar project, which is projected to be fully funded by the second quarter of 2022, will be the largest in Botswana and will be located in the country's northeastern region. The financial commitments will be engaged towards completing technical and feasibility studies. The initiative identifies with Shumba Energy's aim to migrate away from fossil fuels, as the company holds permits for an estimated 4.6 billion tons of coal. Democratic Republic of Congo Solar Plants Project SNEL, state-owned utility company of the Democratic Republic of Congo, announced last year that it has signed power purchase agreements worth more than $300 million for the development of two 100 megawatts solar power facilities in the copper and cobalt-rich southeast region of the country. The Kalwazi and Likasi solar power plants, which were created in conjunction with Green Power Company and the Democratic Republic of the Congo's Ministry of Energy and Water Resources, are aimed at meeting the country's expanding energy demand in the country's southern region. The 
the two 100 megawatts solar power facilities, located in Kawasi and nearby Likasi, will cost $148 million and $157 million, respectively, and would feed the Congo's grid with an annual production capacity of roughly 500 gigawatts hours of electricity, sufficient to power more than 1.25 million people. Less than 10% of Congo's 90 million people have consistent access to electricity, hence rampant power shortages are a major hurdle to developing processing plants to add value to copper and cobalt exports. With the signing of this agreement, this renewable energy approach will help to secure electricity supply in key urban and peri-urban areas. Akfenir Wind Farm Expansion, Morocco Last October, GE Renewable Energy secured a 200 MW wind turbine order in Morocco from Energy Elian du Maroc, a wholly owned subsidiary of Nerva Holding. According to the, the renewable energy arm of General Electric, it will supply 40 of its Cyprus onshore wind turbines for the 200 MW Aftisat Wind Farm Extension project. To be operated at 5 MW, the turbines are expected to start spinning in 2023. The project is designed to support industrial companies under power purchase agreements, GE said, contributing to Morocco's objective of reaching a 52% renewables share of installed capacity by 2030. The order, which includes a 20-year full-service agreement, adds to GE Renewable Energy's 287 megawatts installed base and backlog in the country. GE previously partnered with Nerva on the construction of the 200 megawatts Akfenir Wind Farm in 2016. Morocco has made a name for itself as a climate leader. Renewables make up almost two-fifths of its electricity capacity. Some fossil fuel subsidies have been phased out and the country lays claim to some of the world's largest clean energy projects. The country has received much praise for its actions to decarbonize. Eight Solar Plant Facilities Ghana Bui Power Authority, which represents one of Ghana's state-owned renewable energy firms, has announced intentions to build eight solar facilities in the country's northern region. The proposed measures are in line with Ghana's goals of exploiting northern Ghana's giant solar potential meanwhile, promoting sustainable development strategies through an increase of renewables in the country's energy mix. The locations identified for the project scheduled to commence in the first quarter of 2022 include Yendi, Uipinsala, Sibila, Bogatanga, and Tumo. The earmarked sites are near Ghana Grid Company substations in the country's north, where potential solar plants with capacities ranging from 10 to 100 megawatt peaks might be successfully connected to the National Interconnected Transmission System. UE Power Authority is engaged in several renewable energy projects including a 404 megawatts hydropower plant and a 250 megawatts onshore solar power plant. In addition, a 4 to 5 kilowatt micro hydro plant was recently commissioned in Tika Kailu. The company's ambition is to increase the capacity of floating solar energy production by exploiting the Bui Dam Reservoir. Collet Hydroelectric Power Station Congo and Cameroon. The Collet Hydroelectric Dam project, which includes the construction of a 600 megawatt hydroelectric dam on the Jaw River a stream in West Central Africa constituting part of Cameroon's and the Republic of Congo's border, as well as affiliated power lines, has been awarded to China Jajaba Group Company. The project is based on the build-operate transfer, with a total investment of approximately $700 million. The Congolese Ministry of Energy and Water Resources, the Cameroon Ministry of Water Resources and Energy, and Jajaba signed a concession deal on April 12, 2021. Jujaba has already commenced an environmental and socio-economic assessment, after which the development of the dam, hydropower station, access roads and transmission lines will be initiated. A timeline is set for the completion in 2025. Suez Gulf Wind Energy Project Egypt The private sector in Egypt has been implementing projects in the build own operate system, one of those entered into service in the last quarter of 2021, having a 250 megawatts capacity and located in the Suez Gulf. The project was executed by Lakilla. The same location will house a third wind farm whose capacity be 500 megawatts. 
The project being implemented by Al Noah's investment is expected to be in operation by the end of 2023. The first 250 megawatts wind farm in the Suez Gulf region, which was constructed by Toyota, Injai and Oriscom, was first inaugurated in 2019. Egypt intends to generate 12%, which represents 6.8 gigawatts of electricity from wind sources by 2022, 5.8% from hydro resources and 2.2% from solar resources. The Gulf of Suez has wind speeds of 10.5 meter per second on average making it suitable for wind farms. Solar 1000 MW Project Algeria After several postponements since it was first announced back in 2020, Algeria finally launched a call for tenders for a 1 GW solar project, the so-called Solar 1000 MW Project, on December last year, to select companies to produce 1 GW of clean energy. In a project with an estimated $800 million worth of investment is at stake. Algeria, which is Africa's third-largest oil producer and one of the world's top 10 natural gas producers, seems intent on taking the lead, but from a very low position. Renewable energy accounts for only 3% of its energy mix, as 97% of its electricity is generated from fossil fuels, while the vast majority is from gas. However, it is clear that a second wind is blowing in Algiers. The Solar 1000 MW project, which is part of Algeria's energy transition strategy, shall consist in the setting up of special purpose vehicles whose purpose will be to operate solar photovoltaic power plants with an individual capacity of 50 to 300 MW on several sites across the country to achieve a total capacity of 1000 MW. The bidder shall submit a technical offer and a financial offer by April 30, 2022. Faced with growing demand, approximately 7% per year between 2010 and 2018, as well as declining oil and gas resources. The authorities are banking on the enormous wind and solar potential that has been identified, but never exploited. Although this isn't Algeria's first attempt, it could well be the right one, hence the excitement. In recent years, more attempts have been made to steer the country towards renewable energy. On the political level, a commission charged with developing a national strategy for renewables transition was created at the end of 2019. Bit Window 5 South Africa In 2021, South Africa launched the fifth bid window of the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program. Bid Window 5 aims to buy an estimated 2,600 megawatt of renewable energy with onshore wind accounting for 1,600 MW and solar accounting for 1,000 MW. The South African Department of Mineral Resources and Energy chose 25 bidders out of a total of 100. In order to meet the government's goal of increasing generation capacity and ensuring the security of energy supply to society, independent power producers will build just under 2,600 MW of new generation capacity including 1,600 MW from onshore wind energy and 1,000 MW from solar photovoltaic power plants. Green Hydrogen Project Namibia Namibia, a southern African country with a strategic and intentional goal, is on track to become a significant player in the global green hydrogen market. The shift to renewable energy is becoming more of a need than a luxury, and the relatively stable nation has recognized this. The Southern African nation has been driven to an apex position as a continental champion hunting for global supremacy in the green hydrogen production area, thanks to a plethora of world-class natural resources and the visionary leadership of President Jenga. To consolidate its intent, the Namibian government has identified hyphen hydrogen energy as the chosen bidder for the development of the nation's first massive vertically integrated green hydrogen project in Namibia's South Cobb National Park, a favorable location that benefits from onshore wind and solar resources, as well as land export routes to market, placed among the top five global locations for low-cost hydrogen production. The first phase will involve the construction of a 2 gigawatt renewable power generation capacity to produce green hydrogen for conversion into green ammonia, with an estimated capital cost of $4.4 billion expected to commence production by 2026. 
In the latter stages of 2020, additional expansions will increase combined renewable generation capacity to 5 gigawatts and electrolyzer capacity to 3 gigawatts, bringing the total expenditure to $9.4 billion. Once fully functional, the project will give Namibia a significant boost in terms of foreign direct investment and job generation. The $9.4 billion investment is on par with the country's current GDP and will result in the creation of over 15,000 direct jobs during the four-year building phase of both stages, as well as 3,000 permanent jobs throughout the operational period with locals expected to occupy more than 90% of the new jobs produced. So there you have it, those are some of the impressive renewable energy projects which took off last year in Africa. If you enjoy this video and want more definitive information about trending issues in Africa, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our new channel, The New Africa Daily, your ultimate guide to staying informed on the latest and trending topics, facts, politics, and more in Africa.